First John would die. Get it over with. Get out. But God said to Job, and God says to us, God said to Paul, with his thorn in the side, God says this suffering is going to continue for a while. I may not take it away. I may not change it. I may not remove you from it. I may not take you out. But you must, as long as it occurs, endure it with patience. But it will someday come to an end. In my time, God says. And most importantly, God says, I will be with you in it. If you're in Christ, Jesus says, I may not take away the suffering, the situation is hurting so much. I may not remove you from it. He says, I will be with you in it. How many times we've been suffering, and just to have a friend there, Remember, they're a loved one. Just to have someone there who cares, someone there with you who understands, takes away the pain, takes away the edge of it. It's still there. But to have a really sympathetic fellow with you. And that's what God is. God is the greatest companion. And God is saying, while you, my child, are suffering this, I may not change it for a while, I won't take you out of it, but I will be with you in it. The suffering you have to go through for reasons I'll show you later, but it will not destroy you unless you let it. God says in Hebrews 13 and 5, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Jesus repeats that in Matthew 28. It's assurance from God that he will be with us in this suffering. Suffering may not be removed yet. We may not be removed from it, but God will be with us in it. And just realizing that, I found, reduces the suffering. Accepting it. Not wailing against it, not resisting it, not begging and begging it go away or you go away from it, but just accepting it as a godly person. The suffering is going on for some reason. God is sovereign, so He's allowing it. He will be with me in it, He will end it in His time. Somehow that takes the edge off of something. For me, just say, it's going to be there for a while. It's not going to go away. And I'm not going to be able to escape it. I'm going to have to live with it. I don't know how long. It's not fun living with anguish. It's uncomfortable. You want to escape. But just to say, it's a reality that God has allowed. He is with me in it to comfort me. Somehow that makes it easier. That makes it so much easier than just worrying about it all the time, fighting it all the time, resisting it all the time, trying to figure out ways to escape it all the time. Just accepting it as Job did. Realizing that we cannot end the suffering immediately or take ourselves out. But this will build patience and godliness. It will end in God's time and He will be with you. It makes it easier not struggling 